Hello everyone, this is Prajeda from Edureka and today we're going to learn how to create a database in SQL. But before we get started, if you're new to our channel, please subscribe to our Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Also, if you're interested on online certification courses, please check out the link given in the description below. So without any further delay, let's discuss how to create a database. So how to create a database from scratch? Only after creating a database, we can start learning how to create tables and fields and etc. So first, let us look at the syntax to have a clear understanding. So the first statement is create database. SQL is a simple language which is very easy to understand from its queries itself. So create database is actually a statement which can help you create a blank space where you can add your tables and views. It's basically an abstract unit where you can add and store your data. Next comes the if not exists part. So the brackets around if not exists actually indicates that it is an optional statement. This if not exists statement helps you avoid errors. It is basically used to check if there's any pre existing database with the same name that we are using. So the database name should be short and relevant and to the context of the data. The SQL queries are not case sensitive. So you can use any case to write the name of the database and it won't make a difference. Finally, you should end your query with a semicolon. The semicolon actually acts as a terminator to the sentence. But if this statement is the only statement that you're writing, then even without a semicolon, you can run this statement. But if there's gonna be multiple statements to run, semicolons are a mandatory because otherwise it's gonna give you errors. So it is better to make it a habit to write the semicolon after every query. So now we'll start working on MySQL Workbench. So let's open the MySQL Workbench. So here we are on our SQL query editor. Here we can write our required syntax to get our results. So for creating a database, we are gonna use the syntax as stated before, create database and which is the optional statement. Of course, we don't have to use the brackets here. We can write if not exists. And then we can name our database as sales. And as we have discussed, the name of the database is not case sensitive. So we can even write in smalls or we can write one caps and the rest of it smalls. But we have to end it with a semicolon. Even without a semicolon, this query is going to run absolutely fine. But if there had been multiple queries, then it's safer to use a semicolon. So we are using semicolon to avoid mistakes further in future and to make it a habit of using a semicolon after every query. So now to run the query, we can press this button. This is the execute button. Otherwise, for shortcut, we can use control shift enter. So here you can see there's no difference. You cannot understand if there's actually a database called sales here, but for that there's a short trick. All you have to do is come to the schemas and press this refresh button. So now we can see sales, the name of our database and it's created. So our work here is done. Here we can see the symbol of a database. And here are the tables, views, stored procedures, and functions. Since it's a new database, it's like a blank slate. Here we can make tables and views and stored procedures and functions, and we can check them. So in this sales database, we can click this info button. And once we click this info button and wait for a while, we get this view. Here we can see the tables. Since we don't have anything, it looks blank. So here we can see the tables, the columns, the indexes. It's gonna give you an entire view of the database. So that's it for this video. So see you in our next video on SQL. And if you have any doubts or queries from this session, please let us know in the comments below. We'll sure be able to help you with any doubts. Until then, happy learning. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist 
and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!